Good evening to everyone out there. Uh, tonight I finally managed to do a video of my newest addition to my collection. What you're looking at here is a Hoover Spinner Rinse model 3012A. Um, as the rating sticker will say, it is from December 1968, so it's a 60s machine, swinging 60s, we'll say. Um, I received this from my friend Clarkey in Scotland, uh, Mikey, you know, service gem. Um, we had it delivered by a courier. It, uh, I've had to do, hang on, excuse me, I'm focusing. It's not very good. Um, it came with, uh, well, as you probably can tell, that's a standard drain hose from a normal washing machine. Um, when I first got it, it had the original grey Hoover hose. It's got the original um, Hoover, or plug it with survival, which is the meters on a cotton 60 at the moment, some bedding. Um, when it first came, it had a um, perish sort of tube and it leaked. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to line it down enough for you to be able to see it. I'm some plug it cooking, so I can just present it. Um, <clears throat> I'm not sure how well I'll be able to see it, but um, I did some work on it. I'm not sure I'm going to really be able to see under there. Well, normally I do it with a light, but I had to put the uh, original hose because the other one perished and it had a hole in it, so it leaked. Um, originally, it didn't have the, the, the belt, didn't work. It just has, I don't think this model had a cover on it. But there's the drive shaft there, the motor, and the pump. The actual casters, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to see it clearly. There, it has Hoover written on it, and it also has it underneath. So I put a standard hose and I put some sealant on there. Um, that's obviously not from this one, I think that's from the hose. But it's it's a really nice machine. It's actually more quieter than my 3021. But it has a different, has a different start-up sound to what the um, original one is. Just plug that back in. Um, no. But I've always wanted a spinner rinse, and in fact, um, yeah, this one so this one does not have an interlock. This is actually a childhood machine, this one, <clears throat> because my nanny Carol in Wales had had one like this. I think she had the same one. So this is the standard Hoover drum. Yeah, this one actually has a, a brake on it, as opposed to the 3021. I can spin that quite freely, but that requires a lot. And unlike that one, it has a mat, a strainer mat, and this one actually has Hoover, or Uber, as we'll say. Get get it right. <laughs> so today we'll just do a quick load. Um, I was going to do the bedding when it comes out of the mealer, but I thought it's more interesting to do some towels. Um, probably might still leak a bit. <clears throat> it doesn't pump out water as well as it should do, but I guess that's because of how high the drain hose is. So, um, what we task here? This will be the most amount of water it's had through it. I'm expecting loads of water from gushing out of the bottom still. Because I, I applied the sealant on Saturday. Well, not Saturday, I did it um, Friday. Did it Friday. No, we've got none coming out there. Anyway, so I hope you all enjoy this. Gosh. Can anyone tell me if it's normal for some water to remain in the drum though, of course, afterwards? Because obviously you might not be able to see it, but some remains I can see through there. But I want to hear that start ups. It's got a very nice sound. It might be more of a Hot Point like 9.5 series, is what I think of when I hear the start up sound. 
So it was made in Merthyr Tydfil, though, in Wales. Uh, I believe there's one other person out there has this one. <laughs> Uber who better? There we go. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed that.